How are we doing there boys and girls? Matthew's here and welcome back to another video. So let's talk a little bit about how we can make some gold from this Mage Tower event then. Some people are having an absolute blast trying to pump their way through this Mage Tower. Some people are having a blast at the auction house, taking advantage of all of these people that are buying new sets of gear, buying consumables, gems, all sorts of good stuff to give themselves as much of an advantage as possible when trying to smash their face against these uh, Mage Tower challenges. You can see from this that I am one of the people who is in the camp of let's make some new gear, let's get some new gear, let's make this whole thing a little bit easier. Uh, and just by very quick glance at some basic gear that I've put together, you can see one thing stands out here. Gem sockets. Oh my days, people are after gem sockets like an apps. Well, people are after gem sockets in the gear, and more importantly, they're also after the gems that go in them. This is even before we start looking at enchants and consumables and all that sort of stuff. So what I've done is I put together a little list of a few items that I think you guys should be crafting where possible, potentially farming if it's worth your time selling on the auction house and taking advantage of this little crazy period we have in world of warcraft it doesn't happen all too often but it's good fun when we can so let's jump over to the auction house let's look at some prices and let's do a quick rundown of some of the items that you should be getting so auction house time i actually put together a list uh for those that care Here's the list. If you if you want to read the list and piece out, then sure, <laughs> feel free to. But let's take a little bit of a look at some of these and why they're useful bits for the Mage Tower. If we open the auction house and let's search for the first one. The first one on our list is drums. Drums are doing absolutely crazy things right now. There's two opportunities you have with drums. There's drums of deadly ferocity that we're all aware of, the Shadowlands based drums. These have doubled, if not tripled, in price over the last few days, and in turn, all of the materials that go into making them, so your desolate leather, your heavy desolate leather, is also spiked in value. But one people are snoozing on is the Drums of Fury. Drums of Fury also work. These are made in Warlords of Draenor. These take, like, quite literally five raw beast hide, I think, to make. Uh, but you can see raw beast hide is also... Raw beast hide... Uh, Raw Beast Hide has also jumped up in price quite significantly. Uh, you know, why wouldn't it? Uh, so drums are a big one. People want to go uh, in with that, hate, uh, that haste buff that is given by drums. So yeah, you want to get crafting and selling some drums. Uh, second on the list is main stat gems. I can show you the list again real quick. Main stat gems, uh, as we saw, gem sockets and then filling those gem sockets with main stat based gems. So this is going to be plus agility, plus strength or plus intellect in most cases. Um, are popping off right now. Queen's Garnets are the big ones. If we search up Queen's Garnets, Queen's Garnets, uh, hang on, no, there's an apostrophe in there somewhere, isn't there? Queen's Garnets. Uh, if you can... If you can acquire a bunch of Queen's Garnet, now these are a bit of a pain in the ass to farm. You have to go and farm Dragon Soul to get your hands on these. Uh, even by farming Dragon Soul, you get a token. I think it's called a Moat of Darkness. You turn that Moat of Darkness into a vendor. Uh, and then there's even then, there's only the chance of getting one of these Queen's Garnets. So these are relatively rare. But these are turning into Bold Queen's Garnets, Brilliant Queen's Garnets, and Delicate Queen's Garnets. And it doesn't take a genius to work out by the price of these that there's some good gold to be made in these if you can get your hands on the materials. Now, on many servers, the materials for all of this is already going to be spiked. So the opportunity here for most people, if they haven't already got on board with this, is probably going to go out and get some of these materials, however that may be. Um, but Queen's Garnets are the big one. There are some other options to look at though. The Cardinal Ruby, when crafted correctly, is going to give you a plus three. So it's not far off, but of course people, you know, people like Biss. People like their best in slot. Queen's Garnets are going to be the number one. Cardinal Rubies or Crimson Spinels also work remarkably well. So if we look at gems, let's just go Agility. Uh, and we go, let's just look at the, so here we go. Yeah, so you can see Crimson Spinels, Delicate Crimson Spinels, Delicate Cardinal Rubies. Obviously, the delicate, the bold, or the 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 other one, <laughs> the one that's the intellect one. I can't remember the name, but anything that comes from cardinal rubies, crimson spinels are going to be valuable at the moment. Regarding gems, there are some other ones. Uh, Kraken's eyes. 
uh, Leviathan's eyes, and also, what was the third one? Saber's eyes. The downside with these, though, there's unique equipped. People can only buy and equip one of these at a time, but they do offer higher stats for people. People are looking for that, but they're only ever going to buy one. Your Queen's Garnets, if we take a little look at my gear, for example, uh, I've already stuffed a whole bunch of Queen's Garnets in my gear, and I've got plenty of space to be stuffing more in. I think I counted up and there's nearly 20 gem sockets on my gear currently. My gear is not even what you would consider, you know, a mage tower best in slot set. Uh, 20 odd gem sockets, 20 odd gems, it starts to get expensive quite quickly. I was lucky I was planning ahead though. I didn't have to pay these outrageous prices, but some people will. So gems are a big one. Uh, if you can firstly get the raw gems and sell the gems raw, great. If you have a jewel crafter and can craft some of these gems and cut them, even better. Uh, they're going to be in demand, but these are the ones that you want to keep your eyes on primarily. The rare version, uh, sorry, the raw versions, and of course the cut versions of these three gems. Um, next on our list, crafted dreadful gladiator gear. We talked about this a little bit in our previous mage tower video about how people are looking to buy some crafted dreadful gladiator gear purely because it's the quickest and easiest way to get some gear that works remarkably well in the mage tower uh, the reason people are after this is because uh gem sockets is the number one reason they're after it it's a quick and easy way to get some gem sockets on your gear uh, but the item level does really 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 matter when you look at the auction house for this stuff you'll often see stuff listed at item level 39 that seems to be looking quite cheap ignore the item level 39 stuff people don't want it what people want is the 48 and the 54 stuff um, so if you are going to craft some of this yourself if you're crafting it, dig out your leather worker, your tailor, or your blacksmith. Uh, see if you've got some of these Mists of Pandaria patterns and get crafting. But make sure you're using what is the Relic, uh, Relic of the Past, Relic of the Past 4s or 5s when crafting this gear. That will give you the item level 48 and the item level 54. Uh, crafted, dreadful. Let's just have a look for that real quickly crafted dreadful you can see some of the prices on these is absolutely bonkers item level 48 for monks and for druids um 20 000 gold a piece it's a seller's market it's a seller's market right now not many people have the ability to craft these yet there's a bunch of people out there that want them item level 48 is so close to that perfect item level for the mage tower uh with the socket in there as well there's um yeah, it's good news, good news. People are after these, and, and people won't be buying just one item of this. They'll be buying an entire set, given the choice. Uh, I've seen some screenshots pop up in the Discord of people selling entire sets for like 20k a piece, 25k a piece. Uh, 100 plus 200,000 gold for an entire set of gear. People will pay what they need to to complete this challenge, it appears. So there's opportunities there. And next and final on my list is basically the raw materials that go into making this gear. Uh, there are three materials you want to keep your eyes on. Exotic leather for making the leather and the male stuff, wind-worn cloth and equally ghost iron ores, but more importantly, ghost iron bars. Um, people are more interested in the ghost iron bars than they are in the ore itself. It means they don't have to spend so much time smelting it up. Um, but just quickly looking at some of these, exotic... Uh, exotic leather. Oh, it would really help if I could type. Exotic leather, <laughs> currently 30 gold a piece, uh, and there's really not a huge amount of it. 30 gold is the cheap stuff, by the way. Uh, you're, you're looking at pretty much 40 gold a piece, and for reference, you need 50 exotic leather. Uh, it, between 50 and 100 exotic leather to make a single one of those crafted dreadful gladiator pieces. Um, wind wool. Wind wool uh, cloth. Wind wool cloth. The wind wool cloth is going to be pretty pricey, but where people are really. Tr <laughs> it's <pr> <laughs> There isn't any. This is drain ore, by the way. This is one of the largest servers in the EU, and there quite literally isn't any materials. Uh, drain ore, the largest EU server for my NA friends. Uh, consider this Tychondrius or Area 52 level of server size, and there just isn't any materials. Uh, bolts of wind wool, 400 gold a piece, and there's really not many of those even. Realistically, you're looking at a thousand gold a piece for a wind wool, a bolt of wind wool cloth. It's madness right now. It's absolutely cuckoo crazy. Um, and ghost iron 
Bars. Ghost iron bars. See, that? that's more sensible. But you equally still need a whole bunch of these just to make a single craft. So... Don't get, uh, don't get bitten by spending too much on your materials. Uh, this is actually one of the very few times I would suggest that doing some farming is not a bad use of your time. Exotic leather right now on this realm, you can get somewhere in the region of about 40 to 50,000 gold an hour really comfortably. Uh, really comfortably with no issues selling your materials uh, just by exotic leather right now. I did a video a few days ago. Uh, I'll leave a link in the description down for that or maybe I'll do one of those fancy card businesses and put it up there. Um, the, there are some really, really good ways to make gold at the moment. So if you've got some professions and you can craft some of these items, uh, jewel crafters are going to have a good time. Uh, anybody, any uh, leather workers that are making drums, either from Warlords of Draenor or Shadowlands drums, Jewel, uh, tailors, leather workers, or blacksmiths that have got some experience in Mr. Pandaria crafted stuff uh, can get some good, good gold out of these things. Just like I said, the biggest thing to make note of, which I didn't really highlight quite anywhere near enough in my last video, uh, is that the item level really matters on this gear. Uh, anything that's not 48 or 54, people probably won't buy. Uh, and then the raw mats that go into making those. Um, when the when the demand for materials far outstrips the supply, this is why the prices have, have, have jumped up. Um, but I'll leave it there for today, boys and girls. That's basically my quick rundown for you guys before we head into the weekend and everybody starts smashing their face against the Mage Tower. Uh, for those that are looking to get their, you know, some slightly better gear, get some gem sockets on their gear, fill their gear with as many gems and enchant. We haven't even spoken about enchants and consumables. If you want to get some flasks on the go, those are popping. Uh, there are some enchants out there. A bonus one for any of you that have got this far into the video, living steel belt buckles. Uh, yes, living steel belt buckles are another one. I've not even checked those, but living steel belt Living steel belt buckles, seven and a half thousand gold at the moment. And these are selling. Why? Because they give you the ability to add another gem socket on your gear. Um, so there you go. I'll leave it there, boys and girls. Craft some stuff up, throw it up on the auction house, maybe do a little bit of farming. Let me know in the comments down below how much gold you've been able to extract from those greedy people trying to smash their face against the mage tower. Um, I'd love to hear from you. Give the video a like if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you're new around here. And I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.